only 500 coupes and 500 spiders to be made, the 675 LT is the closest one can get to McLaren P1 performance without having to drop 7 figures on a hypercar. Based on the already impressive 650S and built using lessons learned from McLaren's GT3 racing program, the 675 LT is a leaner, longer, and more powerful track-focused animal. Named for its meter course power rating and after the legendary McLaren F1 GTR long tail, the 675 LT is powered by an overhaul 3.8-liter, twin-turbo V8. Sporting faster spinning turbos, new camshafts, revamped TCU tuning, and a myriad of other modifications, the McLaren's mid-mounted V8 makes a devilish 666 horsepower and 516 pounds to foot of torque. The 8-pot is mated to a revamped 7-speed twin-clutch automatic, which McLaren says can shift gears in as little as 40 milliseconds. The 650S was already a light car, but McLaren took things further with the 675 LT. Carbon fiber bumpers and fenders, a titanium exhaust system, lightweight wheels, and a fixed polycarbonate engine cover join the carbon fiber monocell tub. All that combines to help the flyweight 675 LT sneak and dine to the 3,000 pound mark, tipping our scales at 2,993 pounds. Thankfully, the McLaren is just as capable at stopping as it is going. With its big carbon ceramic brake rotors and a rear spoiler that can function as an air brake, the 675 LT aces are 60 zero tests, needing only 94 feet to stop. The 675 LT's acceleration and braking potential really shine on the figure 8. Thanks in large part to McLaren's proactive hydraulic suspension system tying everything together, the 675 LT is one of the quickest cars to ever lap our figure 8, needing 22.4 seconds and averaging 0.98 grams. That time is just a tenth of a second behind the Dodge Viper ACR with the track set up, and it easily beats fellow European irons such as the Porsche 911 GT3, Lamborghini Huracan, and Mercedes AMG GTS.